I'm taking my head to... Hey everyone and welcome back to Film Mania. In today's video, we will take a look at the five biggest scandals that took place in Storage Wars history. Storage Wars is remembered as a huge hit on the A&E network and was one of the most interesting reality TV shows around. It follows several interesting characters who built their livelihood on finding and reselling items found in storage containers. Even though you might have seen almost every single episode of the show, we bet there are still some facts that you might be surprised to find out about Storage Wars. The cast of Storage Wars is filled with shady individuals, and so it doesn't come as a surprise that a few of them are hiding a couple of skeletons in their closets. Without any further delay, let's find out. Number 1. Fake Pornography Back in 2010, a man named Hunter Moore launched a website called Is Anyone Up? The now defunct site started with the concept of revenge porn. Unfortunately for cast member Brandy Prasanti, she fell victim to Moore's grotesquerie. In a disgraceful incident for Brandy Prasanti, fans came across an adult rated movie of the star, which was later discovered to be a look alike of the Storage Wars cast member. Passante sued $2.5 million as well as $5,250 in statutory damages. However, the judge in the case reduced the monetary award to $750 and issued a permanent injunction that required Moore to remove the content and barring him from any further dissemination of it. $280 bucks? Yeah. Nice. Screw the $280. I'm put Number 2. Raising a Murderer Storage Wars spawned several spin-offs, but they weren't exactly the success stories the network was hoping for. One of them even fell apart before it aired because one of the stars had a convicted murderer in the family. Shortly after the first season of Storage Wars Miami premiered, viewers learned that Kevin Poe was hiding some dark family secrets. The convict was accused of murdering a young woman shortly after Storage Wars Miami started airing on the A&E network. The tragic incident took place at a viewing party for his father's his new show, as the victim in question was a family friend. 60 feet. Yeah, if you were to ask the question, what did the shark eat? Number 3. Dave Hester's Lawsuit Dave Hester is an original cast member who claimed that Storage Wars show was set up by the A&E network and wasn't entirely real as shown to the fans. For example, he stated that producers would put items in the storage containers to make the show more interesting. He also revealed in the suit that cast members weren't told beforehand which lockers to bid on. Hester eventually confronted the producers, the scales didn't tip in his favor and he ended up getting fired. This lawsuit from Dave Hester was one of the primary reasons for this popular show to end. Hester was a cast member for Storage Wars that viewers loved to hate. However, in 2012, Hester sued a &E Network claiming that he had been kicked off the show after complaining about how producers were being partial in adding valuable objects to the lockers for the storage hunters. After he fought the lawsuit revealing that the entire show was fake, the producers fired him. The lawsuit dragged on for two years and was even denied by a judge. Fortunately for everyone involved, the settlement was reached between Hester and the network for an undisclosed amount. Hester, however, rejoined the cast of Storage Wars later on. On the downside, fans learned the truth about the show being fake and decided to stop watching as a result of the lawsuit. So, it remains to be seen what evidence he has to substantiate his claims. Number 4. Yup! Lawsuit a word that Storage Wars fans can correlate with Dave Hester is, yup. For those who have watched Storage Wars would know and those who didn't, it was Hester's trademark style of yelling where he shouts the word, yup. However, that was really shocking in a rather bizarre attempt. Dave wanted to get the rights to this catchphrase. It was something which he was seen using almost every time he did. Eventually, it became a catchphrase by which people would easily identify him. Incidentally, he wasn't the only one as R&B singer Trey Songz also tried to get the rights to this iconic word. He got into a lawsuit with the singer as the duo wanted to sell merchandise with the phrase on it, but unfortunately to their demise, the judge denied both of them. 3200 going twice, gotta click a sign for 3200 and I... Sell it to AD if you got it for $3100 bill. Is that all you guys have? Number 5. Jared's Dark Past Jared Charles has been hiding a couple of skeletons in his closet ever since Storage Wars aired, and it was only a matter of time before his criminal past came to light. It turned out Jared spent some time behind bars before he started buying abandoned storage units and running his own thrift shop. 
Back in 1997, he was given a 60-day sentence after being caught for possession of narcotic substances and a DUI amongst other charges. Instead of learning his lesson from the incident, Jared had another run-in with the law only two years later. To make things even worse, Jared was busted this time for pretty much the same offenses, which made him spend another 16 months behind bars. Thumbs out when you push print. You got your screen. And uh, got a timer here. Turn to... Thank you guys for all the love you have given us. A big, big, big thank you. And if you really enjoyed watching this video, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.